What's up, everybody? This is your boy TGK here to give you a thoughts with TGK on the Dallas Mavericks. Today it is about Kyrie Irving and his hand. Apparently he got he hurt his hand uh, during a workout and is going to have to have a small procedure. Thankfully, that procedure is not going to impact the regular season. He should be good to go by training camp. Uh, so I just want to go over that bit of information and then what I think the Mavericks need to do moving forward uh, to solidify this roster. So let's get straight into it. So Kyrie ended up injuring his hand, had to have a procedure, should be good to go come training camp and should be able to play in the regular season. I don't foresee any uh, situation where he can't play. And when I first saw the report, I didn't really overreact to it. I didn't think the the, the sky was falling, right? And then, uh, thankfully, there was a follow-up tweet that stated he's going to be fine by training camp. So I just think these are – maybe he had an ongoing injury. Who knows? I'm not trying to speculate, but thankfully he's able to get this taken care of now as opposed to later and go into the to the next season rated in you know ready to go you know all signs are green you know all engines are firing but that brought me to my next point right i think Kyrie's gonna be fine i think we're gonna be fine in that aspect i'm not even worried about him he demonstrated his capability to stay on the court after his final or last injury that he had uh, uh when dwight powell landed on him after that he was good to go when he returned and the man was on it all right played great uh, you know, we're not. I'm not gonna kill him for the finals. It is what it is. It's just one of those things that happen. Uh, a lot of our players weren't ready to go in the finals, um, but you know, I think he 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 is gonna go down as probably one of the greatest Mavericks um, in the near future if everything goes right. Right? If we win a championship, you're gonna look at Kyrie as one of the greatest Mavericks of all time. It, one of the most skilled Mavericks ever, obviously. And if he's able to solidify that with a championship here, he's already up there, bro. One of the great ones is it is it is like that for the Dallas Mavericks. Call me crazy. It is what it is, right? Like we got legends, but when you got a talent like that, when you got talent on your team, is a whole different thing. And he, with a full season with Luca, they went to the finals. Like let's not under under value that. Let's not act like that's nothing, bro. They went to the finals. Dirk went to two, right? Kyrie and Luca already went to one in a full season. Let's just keep everything in perspective. All right, off on my tangent. But that takes me to my next point. My next point is I think the Dallas Mavericks need to get a backup point guard for Luka Doncic. I know we might look at Kyrie as, you know, the backup point guard of Luka that's going to stagger minutes and run the offense. And yes, he is. But I look at Kyrie more like the two, like the shooting guard. I don't anticipate him being the one. And when he is the one, that's fine. But it's just when you have another one, to go to as a one to help you uh, run uh, the offense is going to be, <laughs> it's going to be big for the Mavericks. And I think seeing that Kyrie being hurt, you also need a little bit of insurance. You got a little bit in that with Jaden Hardy. I don't see another like straight up point guard on this team. I don't. It's Luka Doncic, who's the main point guard. And then you got Kyrie that could run the offense. You got Exum that showed flashes during the regular season. You got Jaden Hardy, who has shown flashes as well, but I just can't put everything into that one basket. Like, I need them to be able to play more to their strengths as opposed to trying to develop a new skill for them because we are in a win-now mode. We're not in a let's figure it out, let's develop as we go. I, I It's just my perspective. Call me crazy. You can say whatever you want in the comments, by the way. Whatever y'all want to say in the comments, please say it. I obviously respond to everybody. I got that kind of time. Anyway, so with with seeing the whole injury, it just made me think like Kyrie's a two. He staggers at the one sometimes. Who's the next guy that comes off the bench to run the offense if it's not him? And I really think the Dallas Mavericks need to look into getting Spencer Dinwiddie. He showed that he could. He knows how to run this offense. He knows how to play in that role. He's done it before. And so... I think the Dallas Mavericks are trying to wait out summer league to see who's going to step up to see if there's someone in that roster that's going to take this final spot on the, you know, on the roster. And I, I just don't feel like the Mavericks need to do all of that. Like, I think it's time to, hey, we're not going to see exactly everything we need to see in summer league, but we know we could go get someone that we know is going to be reliable. And I think 
the sooner you bring in Spencer Dinwiddie, the sooner you could establish uh, roles and whatever the case may be. I do like the idea of DSJ, but it's, it doesn't answer necessarily what I want um, because whenever you're bringing Spencer Dinwiddie on the court, he could play that Luca role. Like he's tall like him, he attacks. He's he doesn't read the court exactly like Luca, but he did a very good job when he was here, especially the second year without Jalen Brunson. He probably had one of his greatest statistical career uh, years here with us in the Dallas Mavericks. So I know this is videos about Kyrie's hand. Obviously, I'm not too concerned about it, but it just made me ponder, like, what are we doing? I, to me, I think the Dallas Mavericks priority should be into getting a point guard to back up Luka Doncic because we don't have one on, on the basketball team. I don't think we do. And I'm not looking at Kyrie like that. I'm looking at Kyrie as his own. He's he's the other star in a team that could be point guard. But you need that other guy to be able to alleviate Kyrie whenever he's out there. You need that other guy to be able to play with Luka when he's out there. I just think Spencer Dinwiddie, he's not going to get like 20 minutes a game, right? I'm looking more at like 10 to 12 with Spencer. And then those 10 to 12, you at least know that you have someone out there that is a vet and knows what he needs to do, and then knows how to help this team. So, all right, man. So, yeah. So, that is thoughts with TGK here today about Kyrie and then what I think we need to add. If you don't know, I do a Midnight Madness podcast on either a Friday or a Saturday night when this video releases. This upcoming Midnight Madness will be on a Saturday night. We'll be talking about this. We'll also be talking about my top 10 moments of the Dallas Mavericks regular season. Hopefully, y'all check that out. And... It's going to be a fun one. I'm in now, man. Y'all go ahead and check it out, man. Consider being a member and all that good stuff. Anyways, it's been your boy TGK. Appreciate y'all being here. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.